All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving out the question from the second chapter of the entry mechanics by Miriam. And we have um, this question saying the resultant of the two forces and the couple passes through point O. And what this means is basically we can replace this couple and these two forces with one single force that the line of action of that force passes through through point O. So it can be replaced by single force at point O. And what that means at the end of this, we have a force at O, which we know the moment of that force about point O is going to be zero. And the reason is that uh, there is no distance between. So our moment is R times F times sine of theta. And in case that the R and F are perpendicular, this will be one. So when there is no R, our R is zero, the moment will be zero. That's why we're going to use this as our main equation in this question. So the moment about O is zero. So other ways to read this question that um, I usually get questions is that uh, students are going to read that as the resultant of the two forces and the couple. So the resultant is only for the two forces and a couple. And they were asking me how come that's going to be zero about point O when we still have a moment or the couple M. So this result will be the result of two forces and the couple, uh, in case you guys are wondering. So let's get to the question. We have this as our main equation. Let's go on with our moment. So zero is equal to, first of all, we have the couple. We have our sign convention counterclockwise positive. We can see this moment is counterclockwise, so positive M. We have the moment of 400 about O. Oh, this one's clockwise, so negative 400 times the vertical distance to the line of action we're looking for this and we know this angle is 30 degrees so if you look at this right triangle that i'm highlighting in blue this one uh, the vertical distance would be 150 cosine of 30 and we also have the moment of the 320 and if we draw a vertical dotted line in here we're going to make a right triangle in here where this angle is 30, this is 90, this is 60. And we know this angle here would be 30 degrees too, because if we make another right triangle in here, this angle would be 30. So these two are the same and we have a right angle between 320 and the bar. So now we have, we know the force and R are perpendicular to each other and the moment is also clockwise. So another negative moment, uh, 320 Newtons and the, the 300 millimeters equals zero and you might be wondering uh do we need to do the unit conversion or no and if we don't do it our uh couple m is going to be newton millimeters so let's just do uh divide each of these by a thousand to get our couple in newton meter so basically it will be let's just calculate this so 400 times 0.15 cosine of 30 plus 320 times 0.3. So yeah, that's going to give us 147.96, or we can just show it 148 Newton meter. And from the question, we know that the couple is counterclockwise. So yeah, that's going to be the final answer for this question. Hope everything is clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.